Well, welcome back to the Sunday Sports Extra, everyone. It's no secret how lucky we are to have athletes that come from right here in Southeast Texas and enjoy such success at the professional level. Earlier this week, former East Chambers Buccaneer and San Francisco 49er Tynan Vance McDonald visited a pep rally at Anahuac Elementary. Six Sports' Andrew Shurnoff had a chance to chat with Vance about his message to the kids, his first season in the NFL, and much more. Vance, thanks for talking with us. And uh, first of all, what was it like to come out here? You know, it's always a great opportunity to, you know, be able to make an impact, especially in young kids' lives. And, uh, you know, having a tie to Anahuac in my district growing up, um, you know, I didn't hesitate at all. And uh, like I said, it's, it's great to be here to try to raise their spirits for their tests coming up. So it was great. What was the message you wanted to convey to them? Just how important, you know, proper rest is and, and, and making sure that they come to school prepared and ready to learn and uh, just listening to their teachers because, of course, their teachers are, you know, any, any, any kind of, you know, if further step that they can give their students to, you know, be successful, and we're all about that, so. I was joking with you about this just a second ago, but they seem smaller now, probably. You're getting bigger. They seem smaller. Does it take you back? Yeah, and, uh, you know, last week I got to visit my, high, my elementary school, and, uh, you know, I guess I'm continuing to grow, you know, coming back, like you said, they're just smaller and smaller, but, you know, it's, it doesn't take up and it doesn't take away from the, uh, you know, the importance of kids and, and how we can all make an impact. And, you know, that's just kind of what I'm trying to do. Of course, you made an impact on your team first year, rookie season this past year. Two months removed now from the season. What have you been up to? Uh, just training here. Uh, you know, I had been really lucky to have, you know, the, the loving coaches, you know, open up the facility for me anytime I want. Uh, you know, I'm staying busy doing, <laughs> doing sightings like this and uh, just, you know, thanking everyone for all the support they gave me throughout the season. Your first year, how would you assess it? You know, it was, it was you know, full steam ahead. Uh, we were going 100 miles an hour, and uh, it's kind of funny, you know, we got to a spot where we had to win every game, and we won eight in a row, and, uh, you know, we fell short right there in the NFC Championship, but a lot, a lot, of, lot to be proud for in the first season. What's the big takeaway for you this past season? Just going in knowing what to expect in season two. I mean, you're a rookie, everything's new, everything's fresh, even though it's still football. And, you know, knowing against, or going in and knowing the kind of talent you're going to line up against, you know, knowing what to expect in practice and, you know, the upcoming season, that's really the biggest thing. It's just experience. Of course, heartbreak for you guys. Not, not to belabor the point, I guess, but the Seahawks beat you guys in the NFC Championship game. Is that now, do you think, the rivalry in the NFL? I mean, yeah, you know, two amazing, I mean, very talented teams, especially in the same comp. I mean, it's just, you couldn't have anything else line up right. And, you know, it's, it's awesome. We get to play each other two times a year, and I'm sure we'll be looking forward to some good games next year. Is it a bitter taste to see them hoist the Lombardi Trophy? I mean, it's better just to come back to the NFC West. You know, that's what I like to say. And then, um, obviously, a bunch of local guys on that team that went to the Super Bowl. Earl Thomas, Red Bryant, Kristen Michael, you played. So four guys in the NFC Championship game were all from Southeast Texas. What do you think that says about the football down here? Yeah, um, you know, there's a lot of great talent down here, and it's very exciting football, you know, constantly year in, year out. And uh, I even have another really close friend, Luke Wilson. He's a tight end I played in college with. So always fun to play those guys. You know, like if we're talking about it, it's always going to be a great game. And, uh, you know, this next year, guaranteed, we'll probably have the same uh, the outcome. <laughs> and then We're going to win this time. Absolutely. And then is that, that the goal? Is that the expectation for you guys to bring home the Super Bowl next year? Of course. Absolutely. No doubt. We'll work every, every day to get there. Awesome. Vance, best of luck. We hope you are able to get one, of course, in the near future. Congratulations. Thank and uh, thanks for talking to these kids today. Thank you very much. Awesome. More Sports Extra right after this.